Okay, so let's quickly show a little quick overview of Pocket Cast, just in case anyone wants to. Um, it is very complicated. Well, not complicated, probably that's not the right word to use, but it, it, there's a lot of it, and it's been purchased by NPR, and I think NPR was selling it again or something like that. I think something like that happened. I don't remember what's going on. But anyway, I still have the app. Uh, it costs... I think I got it when it was like $6 or $4.99. I don't remember what it was. So I, I kind of got grandfathered into it. Uh, but now they have a subscription model. You can pay $0.99 cents a month or uh, so much for six months or annually, whatever that kind of thing is. Folder, podcasting, two items, pocket casts, folder opened, two by one. So here I am. I'm going to open up pocket casts. Pocket casts, podcasts. When you open up Pocket Cast, if you haven't signed up before, so it's going to take you through that discovery mode. In other words, it's going to show you the categories that you could tap on to subscribe to some of those. So basically showing you what is available. Now, of course, if you know what you're looking for, you can always search for what you're looking for. And so as a result, it has these tabs at the bottom, and there are four in total at the bottom so starting from the bottom left we've got podcasts tab selected one of four in list four items and the reason why mine defaults to my podcast as a default because i've already subscribed to several podcasts and so when it starts up of course it places me there where my subscriptions are and now to the right of that filters tab Two or four. We have filters, and these are very com complex, and I'm not going to go through those today. Discover, tab three or four. And discover, usually that would be the one that you default to if you haven't signed up for anything. Here's where it will show all the different um, uh, podcasts available, and you could always search for what you're looking for, but you can go through this list and see which of them would interest you. So, so today... Um Regretting that I have a question, so does it show the trending podcasts or just randomly um, podcasts? It shows the trending uh, podcasts. And so I'm going to go to that discovery uh, page in a bit here. Now to the right of that discover. Profile, tab four of four. Is the profile. So you tap on that. Then it, if you are not subscribed or if you are not logged in, it will show you where to log in and all of that. So let's go back to the one that Miriam was talking about, and that's the Discover tab. And this by default would be where you'd be if you're starting for the first time. Discover, tab three. Discover, so, selected. Showing item one of five. When I tap on Discover, here's what we got. Now, starting from the top. Search podcasts out of list. You could search. So, for instance, if you want to search for blind Android users, because I'm not sure that we're one of the big ones we're hoping to be, but currently, though, we're probably not even recognized by these guys as one of the big wigs. So, <laughs> you're looking for us, you have to tap on that search and then type in blind Android podcasts, and there you'll find us. Or else, these are the ones that you will find. The README podcast, GitHub, in list. So you see that? Featured button. So it is one of the featured the ones. The README podcast, trending, out of list. And then uh, below that, you have the trending ones. World's greatest con, dog and pony show audio, in list. <laughs> <laughs> BTN subscribe button. And then, you know, below each of those, there's a subscribe, and you can just scroll up and go through the list. Sponsored, out travel the system, inspiration and insider information for your next travel adventure. See what I mean? So maybe Show we need to screen. have them to get blind Android users to the featured right up there at the top, man, or... Um, in the trending one. So you guys, you want to see us up there, you need to be listening to this podcast so that will be up there at the top at either the trending or the featured uh, podcast. Now, network highlight, BBC, the BBC creates distinctive world class ah, shows. So there's, it's uh, BBC stuff right there. So that's what I'm talking about. So you go through this and choose that, um, the one that you want and all of that. But like I said, always, there's that handy search tool there right at the very top, and you could search for what you're looking for. And that's what I utilize most of the time instead of going through all of that.
and that would be how Pocket Cast works. But like I said, though, after you subscribe to a, a particular kind of podcast, you could further customize that podcast and all of that. So that's a good thing about podcasts. So uh, podcast, actually, uh, pocket, does it pocket cast. like when I'm if I'm listening to an episode because that happens with the Google Podcast. Um, when I just um, close the app and go back to it again, does it actually um, go back from where I left? Does it continue from the the you know? where I actually left or when I actually stopped listening to. And it does start you off where you left off. And not only does it do that, but another important thing that we forgot to mention is the fact that it syncs across your different devices. So whether you are listening to it on the website or you're listening to it on another phone or on a speaker, it remembers where you left. And so it syncs across your devices. And that's one of the good things about the uh, podcast client. And frankly, I uh, um, if a podcast client is not the type that syncs your devices or remembers where you live, then probably I'm not sure that I would like to recommend such a podcast client. But that's one of the strengths of uh, Pocket Casts and hence the reason why I chose uh, Pocket Casts. And the same thing is true with the Google Podcast because whether you're listening to it on your Google Home Assistant uh, speaker or on your phone or on the web, those things are synced across your devices and it remembers where you left. So these two, I know for sure that they remember where you left off and they sync across your devices. Uh, it does, um, what's that one? You, uh, Podcast Addict, does it sync across your devices? I'm not sure. I certainly haven't created an account with it. So um, it may not do, but equally it may offer an account feature. Let me just, I'm going to go on mute real quickly and see if it has a sign-in option. I'm not sure it does, but let me check. Yeah, I think it would probably have a sign-in feature uh, because if this is something that is paid, I would think that it would have such a feature. Now, Miriam, while Ed is looking at that, does TuneIn let you synchronize across your devices? Yeah, TuneIn does synchronize just because if you actually, because we, you have a, a Windows client and, an, and a website or, and things like that. So you can just log in with your Google account or your Facebook account and it's going to actually sync um, across all your devices. That's important because if a podcast client is not syncing across your devices, then probably it's time to look for another one. But then, of course, it depends on the person. But I think that one important thing is the fact that a podcast client should be able to remember where you left off, just like reading a book. It bookmarks where I left off so that when I come back, I'm not starting at the beginning. That would be very frustrating. And so yeah. we know that these that we're talking about uh, do have that feature of remembering where I left off. I was looking at our podcast a little while ago today, and I was looking at episode 26. I think I was up to uh, 45 minutes or whatever. I went back to that, and of course, it started me back at that very place where I left off. So uh, Pocket Cast does support that, and it's one of the most important things in a podcast client, of course, in my never to be humble opinion. Yeah, but what I also want to point out is that actually the fact that there are some podcatchers that don't um, actually take you um, when you're left off because what happens is they actually, like if you're listening to episode, it the app works in the background. Once you actually close it from the notification panel, um, it doesn't uh, take you back to where you actually uh, were listening to. But on the other hand, there are some podcatchers like Google, for instance, um, the Antunin as well, which actually they don't care whenever if you actually close the app or not, but they work Sweet anyways. Enough. So this is one of the things that I really wanted to point out about. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. that's exactly what we're talking about. And all of this that we talked about, including Pocket Casts, does have that. So whether you turn off your phone, come back, whatever the case may be, and you launch the app, it remembers where you left. So, so Podcast Addict will do that. It'll remember your place on one device. It won't sync. 
but you can you can close it from your app switcher. You can you can shut your phone off. It'll it'll bookmark you, but it won't sync across uh, devices. So if you are someone who wants to, I don't know, listen to your podcast on your phone, pick it up on your on a different phone or something, uh, then then podcast analytics isn't isn't going to work. If you're a one device person for your podcast, then it's worth considering. Well, that's good to know because it makes sense that people know what's out there, what the strengths yeah. and weaknesses are, and what is important to you. But I think for me, the two top uh, important uh, features of a good podcast client will be whether I could download it or simply stream it. I don't download a podcast because sometimes that fills up quick unless if you have a phone that has an SD card. And that's why, hey, I'm looking at you, Google, bring back the SD card. Or <laughs> The SD card is dead. <laughs> it's gone. I remember when Apple got rid of the floppy drive, there was outrage. They never brought it back. <laughs> I know. Google never had uh, an SD card <laughs> slot in the first place anyway. But this is what I'm talking about. So if I, if you if you happen to be one of those that like to download your podcast to your phone, then after a while, that baby is going to fill up quick. Unless, of course, you know, some of these things have an auto delete, say, hey, you know, after 30 days or in 30 days, uh, delete, um, uh, listen to uh, podcasts or episodes and things like that. So one could set it to do that or get a trusted SD card and keep your stuff. And I'm guessing podcast added, uh, podcast added, Pocket Cast as well has um, variable speed, does it? You can speed up your podcast if you want to. It does, and so does the Google uh, podcast yeah. client. Yeah, and podcast I think just speed. about every podcast client there, though, seem to have that. Uh, you could change uh, how fast you want to listen to it, and, you know, so you finish it. And then another thing, though, is the sleep timer. And I know that both the Pocket Cast, uh, Pocket Cast and Google client uh, Google Podcast Client both have that feature of a sleep timer because I may be a little bit sleepy and getting dream dust in my eyes there. Set a little timer, uh, stop it so I'm not missing what's being said. So it's good to have a podcast client that has a sleep timer. Yeah, and variable speed as well. We, we shouldn't forget that people might want to slow the podcast down i mean who wouldn't want blind android users to take up more of your day than the scheduled allotted length of the podcast you probably want to slow us down to two and a half exactly my point yeah <laughs> 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 yeah well great <laughs>